You know, it's funny. I've done a lot of talking about Disney and what I think about how they're managing through the pandemic and what they've done with their cast members and how corporate salaries work and a lot of different things. But um, I, until I heard Abigail Disney speak, I hadn't really kind of put it into context and thought about what it all meant. And her, um, her podcast interview really enlightened me a lot. I had heard some of her comments, you know, kind of in print, read through some of them, and I thought, okay, that's interesting. But until I actually heard her speak so eloquently about so many different topics, I was like, wow, she's, she really does kind of get it. Now, she's, she's Roy's granddaughter. Roy was Walt's brother, of course. So she's connected to the company. She has no uh, formal connection these days. She doesn't work for the company. She's not on the payroll. She's still a shareholder and whatever. So she benefits when the company benefits. But she's a little more honest in some ways about what's happening with the company and where it's going. And I found her to be compelling. And sort of that we had that um, that sort of similar mindset in that sense where you, you know find the kindred spirit because she's thinking about things. I think about the legacy of the company. She's thinking about obviously her own legacy and the legacy of the company. And the interview is really interesting. So I really do recommend that you go out and you listen to the KR, KCRW uh, interview in the business podcast. It's really good. I'll link it below. And um, of course, it's, it's really pretty good stuff and she's an interesting person. And you know, now that I've found out how uh, thoughtful she is on a lot of topics, I've started listening to her podcast too because I think it's really pretty interesting. She's got a lot going on and a lot of things to say and I find that fascinating. Um, you know, I just, when you, when you hear from someone that, you know, has that connection and has that uh, interesting perspective, I, I thought it was really neat um, and um, I really look forward to hearing more from her. Now, as far as like, you know, everything that she said, I don't agree 100% with everything she said, but the spirit of what she's saying is spot on. And I think it's in the right, in the right vein. Um, you know, the companies need to be kind of uh, brought back under control to a large degree. You can't just go out there and, you know, spend, 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 have no real creative process and you're just doing things and they have to find their way again. Um, and the Disney company hopefully will find its way again. Uh, at some point they'll fully reopen and get back to business, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same business that we saw before, as we know. So anyway, that's just my take. It's a quick little uh, synopsis of the whole interview process and what she did. I think it's really neat. Um, I hope you enjoy it in, this, in the same vein that um, she just provides a different, a different level of context. Um, having been connected to the company and seeing it through her eyes is kind of enlightening in a way. So that's, uh, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoy that.